In today's video, I have for you a thrift haul. Here we go. Hello, you all. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm going to show you the thrift haul from the thrift with me that I posted the other day. If you haven't seen that, I will link it above. I always forget which side it is. So check that out if you haven't seen it. You'll notice a change of scenery. I'm down in the comic book room. If you haven't checked my husband's channel and you like comic books, you should check it. It's called North Garden Comics. And he's kindly letting me use his space because the children are everywhere upstairs. It's Saturday and I have nowhere else to go and it is pouring rain outside. So that's why I'm here. In this thrift haul, I spent $41 even. I got a good amount of things to sell and a good amount of things to keep. If you see something and you're like, oh my goodness, I really want that, um, you can just email me and we can work out a private sale. I've done that several times with people and they seem to like that. So let's get into the haul. I'll start with the things that I'm going to sell. So the first things I found to sell are these adorable vintage I don't, they were in like the shot glass area. They're not shot glasses though, I don't think. I, I actually don't know. They're, I mean, that would be a huge shot. Maybe it's like a double shot. I don't really know. If anyone knows, you can let me know. But they have like, this one has like teapots on it. And this one has like a, a vintage coffee grinder and like a, a dinner plate and fork and knife spoon. So I thought they were really cute and only 99 cents a piece. So I picked them up, thought maybe someone might want those as a set. Then I got this and I toyed with keeping this for myself because you know I have a thing for pink, but I'm going to sell them. So they they were $4 for the set initially, but I got 50% off because it was green day. It was 50% off of green tags. And so I got this set for $2 and it's a sugar creamer set. And I just think it's really pretty. I don't know the name. Let me see if I can, I didn't see a mark, but I just thought they were pretty. And for $2, I was like, well, maybe that would be useful. You know, someone might like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Mikasa. Wow, it's vintage Mikasa made in Japan. Look at that, that's so cool. I didn't even know. And I don't feel any chips or cracks. They're in really good shape. I wonder actually if someone like just had them for show because they really, they're very clean. Um, I haven't opened the creamer yet. Okay, so I took the tape off and there are, really aren't chips or cracks. You see how new that looks? I mean, it's like someone never used it. Whoever had it, never used it. Maybe they didn't have a lot of company. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was a really pretty pattern. So the graphic is this on one side and like blue flowers on the other and the same on the picture. I wonder what the pattern is. If anyone knows what this pattern is, let me know in the comments. Okay, then I picked up this. I just thought it was so different. It's, it was also 99 cents because it's a mug. It's enamelware. It does have like two little chips, but it's so cute. And it has like, I don't know, there's been some debate. Um, what did you think it was, hubby? An antelope. An ant hubby thinks it's an antelope and an elephant. I don't really know. I just thought it was cute. I have not seen enamelware that looks like this. I thought it might be a cool thing for someone to add to their collection. Let's see. And then, oh, I love these. I'm not convinced I'm selling these yet. Oh, I think I'm going to sell these. I don't know. They were just too pretty to leave behind. One of them was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. And this one was $2.99. And they're heavy. Like, there's no marking on them. So, But I don't know, like, if they're just glass or if they're crystal. I don't really know how to tell. But they're very heavy. So I thought those would be really gorgeous for, like, Christmas time. And you know, so I was getting the set for 350. So I could, if I did a live sale and I could sell these, you know, for a little bit of a profit. Um, yeah, I just thought they were really cool, but. All right. Okay, then I got this. This I'm sticking on eBay. Um, this is a Pokemon glass. This was 99 cents and I think I can list it on eBay for about $12. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, I keep bumping the table. I'm not used to having a table in front of me. I got I got to be a little more careful because my camera is on the table. So if you see jiggling, that's why. Okay, then I got this. Oh my gosh, I love this. But I'm going, I, I got it to sell. And then I was like, oh man, but I really love it. But I don't make deviled eggs enough. It's a Warren Kimball Rooster deviled egg plate. But the key is that it actually has the chick salt and egg pepper is it 
yeah, the chick is the salt and the egg is the pepper shakers. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And this whole set was only $4.99, which I thought was a good deal. And there's one listed online, just the dish for like $30. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give that a try. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I'm gonna see what I can get for that selling it online. Okay, and then this, I'm still not sure what I'm if I'm gonna keep it or sell it. It's a vintage coffee mug. All the mugs at this place were 99 cents. And it says Japan. I think it's adorable and I might keep it in my summer mug collection. Although I haven't decided yet. I think it's really cute. Oh, and by the way, while we're talking mugs, this is my one of my um, Mother's Day gifts from my kiddos and my hubby. It says Queen of the Thrift Store. Oh yes, I am. So that's what I'm drinking my coffee from today. Mm. Delicious. Okay, then I got this. I'm probably going to sell it, but I got it because I just it's so pretty and I didn't want to leave it. So it's like a cut work. Is that like cut work, cut lace? I forget exactly what that's called. Apron. It was completely pressed, but then I used it to wrap some of my treasures to get them home without breaking them, and now it's all wrinkly. So I'll have to press it again. But it has two pockets and no stains. How much did I pay for it? I paid $2.99. I definitely think I could get that back plus a little bit um, for sale. So that was really cute. And I think that might be good for someone, useful for someone. Um, pretty sure I'm going to sell it. Although, you know, I'm never fully committed. So, <laughs> okay, let's move on to the things that I got to keep. So, you know, a few weeks back, well, actually several weeks back now, right before the pandemic, I went to the Goodwill outlet bins and I found four blue and like cream check napkins. And I'm going to do a 4th of July tablescape. And one of you had suggested, since I don't have six and I need six for the family, to find some red ones. So I found two red napkins. They're in, you know, they're not stained. Again, they're wrinkled because I used them to wrap up some treasures. And they were 99 cents a piece, which, you know, is not a phenomenal deal, but I was like, ah, I know I'm going to need them in the next month. I thought, ah, and you know, this, this thrift store, it's for, um, a good cause. It's a charity thrift store. So I'd rather give them my dollar per napkin than like buy them on Amazon or something. So, so I got those two to use in my July 4th tablescape. Okay. Then I got another apron. Holy cow. I absolutely adore this apron. This is for gardening for me because I always wipe my hands on my clothes. I'm absolutely terrible. So look at this. It's all geraniums and a, flat, and a like watering can. I think someone made it and you know, it's not like completely without stains, but that's fine. Cause it's going to get so dirty when I use it outside. So I'm just going to keep this by my back door. And then when I go out to garden, just stick it on. And then I have a, a place to wipe my hands. That is not my clothing. I know I'm lifting this. One of you commented that I lift things over my head a lot. It's because I don't want to talk to you like this. So I would rather do this. Sorry if that bothers anyone, but you know, it's a stylistic choice. We can't all, we can't please everybody. So anyway, I absolutely love this apron. I paid $3.99 for it. It was a little high, but I loved it enough that I said, ah, I want to take it home with me. Okay, and then one of you mentioned seeing these in the shop along and why I didn't pick them up. Well, actually I had to turn the camera off to pick them up because I was carrying like a, an arm, you know, a basket that you kind of hang on your arm and I had my camera and had my mask on. So I was trying, like I was juggling a lot of things. So I'm like, I'm gonna turn the camera off so I can examine these. And it's for, I don't know, are they hankies or napkins? I'm not really sure, but they have little strawberries applique on them. And I think they are just darling. I probably won't use them. I will probably use them in decor. I'm thinking like set over something, you know, like this kind of thing, like tucked into like something with, I don't know, a plant here or something. I, have, I haven't really, haven't figured that out, but I think I'm going to use them in my strawberry collection because I'm going to set up a whole display um, with my strawberry decor. So I'll use them in with that. These were half off of $1.99. Oh, this does say they're napkins. I don't know, you can tell me what you think. Cause to me, they well, I guess they could be luncheon napkins or are they hankies? Let's take one out and see. Oh, is there six? There really is, there's six of them. Oh, look at that, I thought I only got four. Oh, those are definitely not, those can't, that can't be a napkin, do you think? It's so tiny. It's probably like 11 by 11 inches. 
So I'm gonna say that these are probably hankies and they don't look used and I'm gonna use them in my decor. You can tell me if you disagree with that. I picked this up. This was there before the pandemic and I regretted not grabbing it and I was so happy that it was still there. So this is Taylor Smith and Taylor um, and it was marked $4. I got it for two because it was green. I have one that has the aqua, it's the, um, that other pattern, boutonniere pattern. I don't know the name of this, but I think they're going to look so cute together uh, because, you know, one's pink and one's blue and that's, that's my jam lately. So I love this and I was happy to find it. Even if $2 seems like a lot, I thought it was reasonable. Okay, then I got this for the family because they absolutely love these like shallow soup cup mug things. And this was $1.99, but it reminds me of the Jersey Shore. You know, that's where we come from. So I always like to have a few things around the house that are beachy just to remind us from whence we came. Okay, then I got this. <clears throat> you know, I collect blue and um, peach luster wear. I got this one in particular. Let me see if I can focus it better. Um, I love the bird painting. Like, I just think it's gorgeous. It's very different than anything that I have. I mean, I have ones with birds, but this was just particularly pretty, especially because it has black on the handles and that complements the black on the bird. I just thought it was really different. Sorry if you hear sneezing. Maddie is... Maddie's having an allergy attack and she like shakes the house when she sneezes. So poor kid. But that was $2.99, which was a little high. But again, I liked it well enough that I did not want to leave it because I like it because it's so different from anything that I have. Here is the mark. It says Noritake made in Japan, uh, hand painted. And I don't know what that M means. I have not looked it up yet. So oh, can you see it? Oh, well, no. <laughs> can you see it? I'm going to see if I can focus it. It's not really focusing, but there you go. I'm guessing this is probably a sugar bowl. I don't know. And it does have one flea bite. I'm taking that term from D from Thrill of the Thrift, um, but that's fine because you can't, you won't be able to see this when it's sitting on a shelf this way because it's on, it's on that side and that'll be towards the wall. So I'm not too worried about it. So I got that. And then, oh, he's so cute. I paid $2 for him. I thought he was so cute. Holy cow. How could I leave him behind? There was just no way he was getting left behind. I don't know if he's like from a nativity or something. I have no idea. There's no mark or anything on him, but he's just so sweet. He's going to go up with my little, I have a collection of rodents, <laughs> vintage like squirrels and skunks. And I have a lamb in there. I'm gonna put the deer in there too because they're just so cute. He's gonna go with the rodents up on my little shelf upstairs. So, okay, and the last thing I got was the first thing I found and some of you spotted it and some of you noticed it was gone when I panned the camera over. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. So I don't know if like someone went to a pottery place and made this, I'll hold it up better in a second. I'm just looking for a mark and I see nothing. But holy cow, it's so cute. It's five little birdies sitting on like what looks like a bird bath. I'm probably going to put air plants in here. Um, you can do faux greenery, but I think this will be, the air plants won't get a ton of air flow, but I think they'll be okay. I think it'll be good for air plants. I just think it's absolutely adorable. I guess you could also use it outside if you wanted to, but I don't want it to break. I like it well enough that I just want to keep it inside. Probably on my windowsill. In my family room, I have some other little pottery pieces like this that I have plants in. So I'm going to put it there with some air plants and I think that will be darling. So that finishes it up. That is my $41 haul. That's a lot for me. I never spend that much, but I figure I haven't been thrifting in like two months. So it's okay. And plus I earn money at my sale, so it's even better. So, <laughs> and I'll get some back when I sell some of the things. So I hope you've enjoyed this first thrift haul of, uh, you know, the post pandemic situation. And tomorrow, Sunday, I'm gonna have another haul for you. It'll be the first yard sale Sundays of the season. I have some things I got from some sales around the area and also some things that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. So make sure you tune in for that. 
And also, remember, if you saw something you like, go ahead and email me. And if you're looking for home and garden content, last year I put my gardening content on this channel, but I've decided to move that. I just think it'll keep the algorithm a little happier. So if you want to see home and garden content, um, you can check out my other channel, which I will link above here. It's called Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. Thank you so much for watching. And until my next video, take care.